Hi everyone! So today we're going to do a live video for how you're going to make a floral cake using ambiente topping or any kind of whipped cream that you have. So I have here my glass bowl. It's really cold because I just took it out of the chiller. Now that really helps make stable whipped cream. I also have my whisk attachment. It's also cold, also from the chiller. Now, since there's not going to be a lot of change in the temperature between the bowl and the cream, it helps keep the whipped topping stable. So I've cut off the tip of my ambiente. So normally one, you know, I also get a lot of questions about how much cream you should use. Normally, 200 ml of ambiente is enough to cover a 6 by 3 cake and put decors on it as well. So if you're making a bigger cake, then just make adjustments. So again, I'm using my Breville Bakery Boss, and it has a, oh, let me just show you. It has a countdown timer or a running timer. It means it shows you how much time has passed since you started whipping. You can also set it, let's say you want to set it to, let me set it to 30 seconds. And then when you turn it on, it's going to start counting down. So we want to start slow, build in a little, build in little bubbles instead of huge ones, and then maybe around 15 seconds you can start increasing your speed. So I, I have the level up to the thing. Sorry, the okay. Sorry, I got. I thought the plug came off. It reached the thirty-second mark, so you have to put it back to zero and then put it back. So. So if you're asking how the consistency should be, it should be like this. So whipped it, we whipped it for about a minute and 10 seconds. Now, the length of time that you're whipping your cream depends on the amount of cream that you have in the bowl. Of course, the more that you have, the longer you should whip it. Okay. So I'm going to use a tip to be. This is what I use to frost my cake with. It's wide and can you guys hold on a little? Let me just wipe my lens. It looks a little blurry. wipe it a there now that's much better right hope you guys are doing well in spite of the quarantine and the situation that we are in the pandemic and all 
it would be really great if this was not happening but it is so we just have to adjust to the new normal and so if you notice that 2b has two sides one has teeth right there and the other has a smooth edge and if you want to make a basket weave this is what you use this should be on top and then if you want a smooth edge then this is what you use going really slow because I'm waiting for more people to start watching. Oh, before we start, I'm going to just run through all of the stuff that you're going to need. Of course, you're going to need piping bags. Maybe about two or three. I also use a coupler, but it's not a requirement. If you have it, then it's fine. If you don't, then it's okay. Then I also, you also will need a flower nail. This is where you pipe your flowers. And then the leaf tip. This is a tip 349. There. You also need a tip number two. And a tip 104. Let me show that there. There's the opening right there. Spatulas for coloring and transferring your cream. Food colors. Uh, I'm using cross always food color. In different shades. I also have, of course, scissors for cutting my piping bags with. A wet towel. Spatula for scooping my cream and some small mixing bowls right there. Hold on, I'm missing one thing. A flower lifter. Since we're going to do a floral cake here, we're going to need a flower lifter. Steady lang kayo dyan, guys, ha? I'm just going to share the live link so that more people can watch.
I so I'm back. <laughs> I just shared a link so that more people can watch with you guys. So ito na, we have here the bottom layer of our cake. And we're going to put in the filling. So I'm just going to use a plain white filling for the middle of the cake. I'm just going to rip it. As long as it stays cold, that's fine. So, of course, right now, it's really hot and humid where I'm at. So, I am using... I mean, the air conditioner is on. So, it will stay cold. layer on there. So if you're wondering what this green cake is, it's a green velvet cake. I know, you know, you're used to red velvet. Why not green velvet? going to rewet my cream because it's a little bit soft. So you guys will be getting ready for dinner. For those of you who are in the Philippines, since it's close to 7 o'clock. careful with over whipping your cream. Now if it no longer has any peaks, then it's possibly over whipped. for this cake white and then put on a little bit of pink color on it just a tiny shade of pink like super tiny So there. So I'm just going to make it white for now. And then I will add a little bit of pink color on it later. To give it a marble effect. Sana no, diba? Kasi sobrang hirap ng buhay ngayon dahil sa lockdown. And I know a lot of people have 
if not lost their livelihood. Some are struggling to stay afloat. So now really is a good time for you to consider doing some. What happened? My daughter's trying to bring the house down literally. Konting green. Konting, konti lang. You know, just a very small amount of green to give it that marker effect. You know, I just, I'm really new to doing live on YouTube, so you have to forgive me if I'm not quite consistent. I'll, I'll get the hang of it. <laughs> I do a lot of live videos on, on uh, Facebook. Pero kasi quite different. There, there are different rules on Facebook and YouTube, so I'm kind of getting a hard time getting it all together on YouTube. I want to be able to offer more free tutorials, especially now that a lot of people need to learn new things so that they can cope with the hardships of the pandemic. how difficult it is. I, I am experiencing it firsthand. I mean, no one is safe from this situation that we're in at right now. The wet towel really helps with keeping your hands from being so sticky. It's really sticky. Now, some of you like adding sugar or flavor to your whipped cream. Me, really, the only thing that I add to my whipped cream is color. But that doesn't mean that you can. Of course, you can add sugar or flavor for flavor i really suggest that you use extracts because liquid can affect the stability of your whipped cream yeah and buy it's so easy to make it smooth your Sunday night coming along guys here is so quiet it's normally really quiet at this time because we are in despite being a city I would still consider we are laid back now I'm going to use a scraper an acrylic scraper to smooth in the sides. Now this is really great if you're making a tall cake. This scraper is super nice. There. See? So fast and easy. There. 
Now, sometimes you can scrape it too much and, oh, see there, I've done that. Look, parts of my cake are peeking out of the, peeking under the whipped cream. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another layer and cover that up. And then, again, I want to make a little green, like marble effect. So I am going to put green on my whipped cream. Like so. Give the bag a little squeeze, squeeze. Like you're doing the laundry. Then just put it on the cake. Not a whole lot. You don't want a dark green streak on your cake. So you just you just want a little shade of green to come out. Here, so now I'm going to use this is a an acetate smoother. Now every time I use this, I get questions like where did I get it? I got it from eBay and it's really cheap. I forgot how much, but it's really cheap. And you get it by the by the dozen. I think you can buy it from local supply stores here in the Philippines. You just have to ask them if they have it. I, I just want to repeat I've seen a lot of cake decorators use playing cards to smoothen their cream-covered cake. I, I do not encourage that because it's not food green. You don't know if it's safe to use it on food. So I just want to say hi to Mommy Mitch Basibas, to Achupuchu, <laughs> and to Lina Goyenas. Hi guys, thanks for watching. I know I don't get a lot of viewers at this time, especially I did not announce that I was going live because I did not know that I was going live. But anyways, we are here now, so let's make the best of it. Let's just have fun. This is what it's all about, having fun. So I know you guys are really excited to get your lives back. And I know pretty soon we will all be back to our normal routines. But for now, please keep safe. Stay at home unless you really need to go out. And if you do need to go out, please keep yourself protected. So I have a lot of guy, uh, people here in my studio right now because we are conserving energy. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this slowly. Smoothen the sides. I think that's nice. Uh, I don't have to smoothen this side so much because I'm going to fill that part with flowers. I like to do this also, tone down the sharp edge. It, it looks nice on with cream covered cakes. Now I just have to clean up the board.
know when I do live tutorials on Facebook, I get up to 700 viewers live. It's just much more difficult on YouTube. I will get the hang of it, I assure you. I don't give up easily. So there, now your board is clean. Always remember that your cake board is an extension of your cake, so make sure you clean it. Even if you have a great looking cake, but you have a messy looking board, that's not nice. Not good at all. By the way, guys, this is this is live, but you can watch it later. I'm sure you guys are busy doing having dinner. Okay, now we're going to do our flowers. We're going to put a guide on top of the cake. Some people think that piping whipped cream is really hard, but it's not. I'm going to show you how to do it properly. Okay, first you choose the side where you want to put the flowers on. Remember, I didn't uh, smooth the side so much because I wanted to put the flowers here. So there. Here's the grade. What is it for? So when you put your flowers, you don't want to put them flat. Because that destroys the aesthetic properties of the flower. You want to put it sideways so that people can see from the side how beautiful your flowers are. There. So now we're going to use a tip 104. A coupler. I use a coupler when I want to change piping tips. That I don't use a new bag every time. Okay, if you use a different color, sometimes mixing colors in the bag is okay. Especially if the colors are not too far away from each other. Okay, so how do you put the coupler on? So you just cut off. It's closed. Like if you put the, the ice in there, it's not going to move. So you just cut off the tip, slide the coupler in, and put on the piping tip and lock it. Make sure you don't cut the piping bag too big because your coupler will just slide out. Okay, here. Now we're going to do pink. drop of pink and a drop of brown. The brown tones down the pink color so it doesn't look like plastic. Did you, did you notice that when you use plain pink your the pink color of your frosting looks like plastic. It doesn't look natural. Okay, I see that it's there's too much brown in there and barely any pink color. So I'm going to add two more drops of pink. Now you can't know how much food color you're going to put in there by heart. That's impossible. So you need to do it slowly. Unless you measure everything, like you measure how much Frosting is in there, and then measure your food color by drops. That is possible, of course. Okay, I'm just going to add more white. There. See? 
that's nice. And I can use what's left over to make more pink shades. You to put it in your bag, you just cover your hand with the top of the bag. pink color like no can you guys see <laughs> if overshoot the camera <laughs> there can you see it i want to make it bigger rainbows now with whipped cream you have to work fast because it can develop bubbles if you're holding onto the bag too long there pick it up put it down now i'm not going to put them really close I'm still thinking of the design that I want, so maybe I'll put it here on the other side. See, now you see why we have this, because you can put your flowers in a sideways position so that when people are looking at your cake this way, they can see the flowers. I don't have background music. I don't know how to do that. I did it before and then I got a copyright thingy and says that I'm using somebody else's sound. I didn't even know. There. And I'm going to put a small flower over here. Just a tiny flower, maybe around seven petals, and then just put it right there. There, see? Now I'm going to use a darker shade of pink. So I just squished back, back the contents of the piping bag back into the bowl. Then I am going to add more food color. brighter shade of pink but still not glaring because of the brown food color that we put in there if you guys have any questions please type it on the comment box so that i can answer it later on there see much better than the one that we have there right now this is kind of like an old rose color and this one is closer to baby pink uh, or hot pink or rose pink <laughs> oh wow buffalo wings kaini naman ako nyan yum yum yum
I'm making this for a friend who is a uh, frontliner. So this one is a brighter shade of pink. So I just squeeze out the old color and then continue with the new one. So roses are the easiest to bite. That's why I make them for all of my cakes. Very easy. See? If you guys are cooking dinner, just go ahead. You can keep me in the background or you can just, I don't know, put this on a playlist so that you can watch it later. I don't know how to do it. Can see the difference in the color and it's I like it I don't know if you guys like it as well also if you have any requests for tutorials please type it in the comment box in the comment box so so that I can consider it later on can you guys see it when I'm piping I think I'm pulling my hand away from the camera Normally, floral cakes are made with buttercream, but you can also use whipped cream. It's also delicious. Yeah, that's why you need a cake stand so you can turn your cake around like that. Put it here, put it there. I'm taking my sweet time. I'm not in a hurry. Again, if you guys are busy, just keep me in the background or put this in your playlist so that you can watch it later. If you think it's going to fall in, you can fill that part with whipped cream like this. Just put that in and then squeeze. So there. So the whipped cream that's there will hold the flour in place. nakikita yung mga questions ninyo kasi the camera is facing away from me I mean the screen of the phone is facing away from me and I haven't figured out how to do that yet <laughs> how to make the screen face me so that I can see what you guys are saying yeah. I like the shape it's very romantic. So the secret to piping is holding the flower nail correctly. Check ko ma. Wait lang ha. I'm gonna go near the screen and see what you guys are saying. Oh, there's a live chat thingy. Uma maya na nagaya na si Michelle kumain. I know it's you, Ian. That's your username, right? That's your Pucci. Okay. So just let me just finish all of the buttercream that's here and then we'll move on to a different color. So again, I'll make a Little volcano in the middle and then just pipe on top of it and continue typing petals. I type. <laughs> Sorry. I said typing. I meant piping. You know, it's so hard to be doing live video because you're on your own, like you're all by yourself and you're kind of like talking to yourself and it makes you feel like you're going crazy well that's fine by me so what's for dinner what are you guys having for dinner me we are 
uh, on fasting, like an intermittent fasting kind of thing. So we don't have dinner. Yep. It's okay for me since I'm diabetic. It keeps the blood sugar down. What are you guys eating for dinner? Um, Raquel, yes, you can use a tip one, two, four, but that's kind of big. So, but if you're making big flowers, that's fine. One o four is for the smaller flowers. So if it's a big cake and you need big flowers, that's okay. I use um, tip 104, 102, 103. Ooh, caramel cake. Okay, I, I will I will do a live video on that. Um, maybe not a live video because that's like gonna take forever for me to to be done. Like I have to cook the caramel sauce, blah blah blah. So maybe I'll do a video, but not a live video. Okay? Is that okay with you guys? Mm, all right, so there are our with cream flowers. I mean you gotta admit it's not um, common that you if you have flowers on your whipped cream covered cake. Come on, you can be honest with that. This is commonly reserved for buttercream. But it can be done. See, I'm doing it right now. So what I'm doing now is the leftover pink cream that's in my bowl. I'm just mixing that with white. And I have a really light pink cream which I'm going to use for more flowers. Then I'm going to use purple for accent. So it's more colorful. Now I just like putting my flowers on like this, same color together but you don't have to do it like this you can do it like a bouquet or you know just put the flowers on randomly you can also pipe the flowers in advance you can pipe them in a what do you call that thing that you use in school <laughs> a placemat and then put it in the freeze in the refrigerator no sorry that's wrong not freezer refrigerator you can put it in the refrigerator i'm piping a small one for the very end of the flower arrangement i've also piped small roses there to fill in the gaps between the big flowers I'm going to find more pink flowers over here. Sorry if I'm kind of pulling away from the camera because I can't see. I just realized that I, you may not be able to see what I am doing. So come back. I don't have a monitor. You know why I love using ambiente whipped cream because I can make frosting in less than a minute. Now when I use buttercream it takes me about 15 minutes to get together to mix a batch but with ambiente I can make one, one batch in a minute. Of course for the there are cakes that, you know, demand that it be frosted and decorated with buttercream. But whipped cream is a very delicious option. Ambiente tastes like vanilla ice cream. In fact, 
Sometimes I would freeze it and eat it. <laughs> so it's good. Oh, I sometimes I would also put avocados in the blender and then mix it with ambiente, put it in the freezer, and voila, avocado ice cream. It's also non-dairy, so it's healthy for me. I can't say the same for everyone. And for those who are on keto, they use this instead of the other kind of, uh, like a heavy cream made with cow's milk. Because people on keto, they are not keen on eating or drinking dairy products. So this is non-dairy. So for the keto dieters out there, this is your wonderland. It's quite nice. I'm liking it. Hope you guys are liking it too. Okay, let me check if you guys are saying anything. This is so hard. Ooh, Tinola. I love Tinola. Are you able to upload photos here? Like, show me your Tinola. <laughs> Just make me hungry. I'm close to the end of my crescent arrangement. This is called a crescent because it looks like, you know, a quarter moon. Uh, well, I might direct it if I turn it around. I'll just show it to you later when it's done. Yeah. So I'm making small flowers like buds to fill a, to fill the tiny gaps here. Look. Yeah. But I'm going to show you how to make buds and leaves in several ways so that you have op you have options on how to make them. So we have pinola and buffalo wings. What else is in the kitchen, ladies and gentlemen? Which one I like pinola? Okay, don't think about food. I'm not supposed to eat tonight. So don't think about food. You guys already on... I think everyone is going to be on GCQ starting tomorrow. Is that right, Ate? Okay. So, it means it's every man for himself. Again, be very careful. Do not go out unprotected. Do not take unnecessary risks. Do not go out if you don't have to. Stay home. Stay safe. There. That's nice, no? I like it. Let me show it to you closer. There. That's nice. See? It looks a little bit like buttercream, but it's not. Okay, so I'm going to put back all of the buttercream that's in here. Just squeeze it out back into the bowl. And then I am going to mix purple. For accents. There. So nothing goes to waste. Even if it's a different color, it's okay. You can just mix in more color to get a different shade. There. Just a light lavender shade right there see now i'm going to switch okay i'll just use a different bag
there. I'm using a tip 18. There. So these are filler flowers. Now, before I use this, I'm going to make green for leaves. If you notice, I have pink spatula for my flowers. Then I have green spatula for my leaves so that I don't mix them. For the leaves, I'm going to put green, yellow, and brown. There, see? Now, I have like an avocado shade, but I want a uh, slightly more green shade, so I'm just going to add more green. So not happy with that shade of green, so I'm just going to add more. Now, the great thing about Cross Always Food Color is it does not add an aftertaste to your frosting, even if you put a lot. It's one of the great things about it, which makes me really like it. Okay, I think I like this shade now. It's going to turn slightly darker. I am going to put in the same bag using the same piping tip that I used for the flowers. So tip 104. Why? Why am I putting it in a petal tip in a uh, piping bag with a petal tip instead of a leaf tip? I will show you. You guys having a great weekend despite being on lockdown? There. Okay, so now it's in there. This is how you do it. Wait. It's kind of hard for me to angle my hand. So pipe up and pipe down. Like that. You see that? Again. I'm doing I'm I'm gonna do it here so that you can see it better. Pipe up and pipe down. See, that's really easy. And over here on this side. And here. Okay, 
now I will switch on over to a leaf tea. A leaf tea. <laughs> a leaf. A leaf tea. <laughs> This is a tip, uh, tip 352. You guys see it? There. Oh no, this is a 349. A 352 is much bigger. Ah, so hard. There. There. Oh, whatever. <laughs> so I want a darker shade for the leaf tip. So I'm going to squish it back in. And I'm going to add green food color. Mix it up just a little because I want really dark green there. Then put my 349 on there and then lock it. See, all throughout. This piping, I've, I've used just one piping bag. It's good to conserve piping bags because it's plastic. We don't want a lot of plastic in the world. So you want to conserve when using plastic, especially single-use plastic. So we've used it for one, two, three, four, three kinds of flowers and one leaf and here is another one that makes it that's no longer a single use plastic <laughs> because we've used it four times okay now with this step it's much easier almost no hand movement you just slowly pull it out push it back in pull it up back in like this there see you let it bloom a little before you start pulling it out. There. there. I really like the combination of light and dark leaves because that is how it is in nature. There. Okay. There you go. want to give you a closer look at the flowers <laughs> so I I was not very good at picking up the phone nice there's the bud it's so nice and then I'm gonna put a dedication here right here I'm going to write happy birthday so there Thanks for watching, guys, and do um, look out for more tutorials from me. If you have any requests, please put it down in the comment box, and I will do my best to help you with that. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys.